here's the um, run through for this. Um, go to our, um, it's our go bearing test. Things move along pretty quickly there. There was some uh, a Belgian ale that I loved uh, for just a second. And this is a list of the breweries that we get. It's a 10,000 list. So you can see that the scroll bar is really tiny because there's 9,999 or whatever beers um, or breweries that has still not been loaded. But the scroll bar thinks they're there. So what happens when we actually get to the end of the list? Oh, it's the old slow adapter trick where we're bloating and then we finally load and there's our, uh, you'll notice from the last version of the software I figured out how to get it to start at the beginning of the list instead of the end of the list. How nice. So um, you can even give it a nice fling. Whoa. And you can see it's loading pages all along the way. It's just loading pages from the database until we finally, um, yeah, there's a lot of Atlanta breweries there. And then we finally, we get over to the improved beer display, where now we have the, the beer name and the brewery name, uh, as opposed to the, the tags that were attached to the beer the last, in the last demo. So, um, same thing. Uh, oh, and the, the fact that it doesn't say loading anymore, it says bloating. That's to show that we now have localizable string there. Um, so if it, uh, you know, if you were in some other language, you could have it say bloviating or whatever is the alternative. Whoa, there's a whole page of Anderson Valley Brother David's Double Abbey Style Ale. Anderson Valley Brewing. Well, given him a, an ad so okay well that's the demo as it stands you currently can't pick um, if I click memo it will die um, I mean menu not memo um, I thought I had scrolled that list I guess I did but it put us back at the beginning again um, so yeah but everything's still loaded up there well okay that's that and uh, We'll see how this um, screencast with voice appears. See you later.